Hey everyone, I'm Sarah from Filing Taxes, your trusted tax partner. In today's video, we're diving into the tax implications of becoming a non-resident of Canada. If you're planning to leave Canada and are currently a resident, this video is essential for you. Understanding non-residency. Before we delve into the tax consequences, let's clarify what makes you a non-resident of Canada. There are four key factors and they must be considered collectively. Permanent home. If you sell your home in Canada and or acquire a new permanent home abroad, you will become a non-resident. Number two, family. If your spouse and or children move with you to your new country, you will be considered a non-resident of Canada. Number three, personal possessions. Selling your personal belongings like furniture, appliances, and investments signals your transition to non-residency. Number four, social ties. Cutting social ties in Canada and establishing new ones in your new country solidifies your non-resident status. Tax implications. Now let's explore the 10 major tax implications of becoming a non-resident of Canada. Number one, benefits. You must stop receiving the Canada Child Tax Benefit and Universal Child Care Benefit immediately. Inform the CRA about your change and residency status. Number two, credits. You will no longer be eligible for GST and AHST refunds, so notify the CRA about your residency change. Number three, repayments. You have 60 days from becoming a non-resident to repay any amounts under the home buyer's plan or the lifelong learning plan. Failing to repay within this time period means the amounts will be included in your income on your final Canadian tax return. Number four, TFSA. The good news is you can keep your TFSA without having to withdraw the funds. Number five, RRSP contributions. Stop contributing to your RRSPs once you are a non-resident. Contributions won't benefit you if you no longer have Canadian source income to offset. Number six, withholding tax. Notify your bank and financial advisor a 25% withholding tax applies to interest, dividends, and pension payments. This rate can be reduced by tax treaties between Canada and your new country. Number seven, Property Disclosure List all properties you own and their total value. Failing to disclose can result in penalties up to $2,500. Number 8. Deemed Disposition You will be deemed to dispose of all your property at its fair market value upon leaving Canada with gains subject to tax. Exceptions include real estate, pensions, RRSPs, employed stock options, 
and life insurance policies. Number nine, selling your home. If you sell your home after leaving Canada, a 25% tax on the gross selling price applies. You can reduce this to 25% of the gain by filing specific forms with the CRA. Number 10, final tax return. File a final Canadian tax return for the year you leave, disclosing your departure date, prorating your personal tax credits, listing assets over $25,000, and filing departure tax forms. I hope you found this video helpful. For more tax tips, visit our website at filingtaxes.com. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful tax advice.